working as a sommelier for years at restaurants, I'm definitely used to people regularly interchanging Prosecco and Champagne. And I get it. Both are bubbly, delicious, and often served in a champagne flute. But that's kind of where the similarities end. One, where it's from. In order to call Champagne Champagne, it has to come from the Champagne region in France. Prosecco, on the other hand, hails from the Veneto region in Italy. Number two biggest difference, the grapes that are used to make it. Where Champagne is made primarily from three particular grapes, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Pinot Meunier, Prosecco, or Galera as it's now known, is the only grape you'll find in Prosecco. This is the last major difference between the two, and it's a big one. Now, sparkling wine isn't like soda. We don't inject CO2 to get it to sparkle. Instead, we reignite fermentation by adding yeast and sugar to the still wine. The yeast eats the sugar and CO2 is released. The big difference here is that for Prosecco, that secondary fermentation happens in a huge tank and then bottled after. For Champagne, that process actually happens in the bottle. The yeast and sugar are added to individual bottles on top of the crown cap, causing the resulting CO2 to be trapped inside.